Elon Musk has confirmed that Tesla should grow exponentially over the next decade. So what does that look like when you graph it, and what is the equation of the curve? To calculate this, I used exponential regression. This is the process of finding the equation that best fits the data. If Tesla's annual production really is growing exponentially, then the equation should be in the form y is equal to a times b to the x, where y is how many cars Tesla produces in a year, and x is how many years since before production started, which was in 2012. I used hypercharts to gather the data for the regression, link in description. Hypercharts is run by a YouTuber named Galley, and he's wicked smart, so definitely check him out. He pulls the data straight from Tesla's investor relations website and their SEC filings. In 2012, Tesla produced about 2,600 cars, and in 2019, they produced about 367,000. I'm also going to plug in 500,000 cars for 2020, because I believe that Tesla will most likely produce that many by year end. One extra data point allows the model to be more accurate, especially since we already have three quarters of 2020 data. After calculating the exponential regression from 2012 to 2020, I got this equation. y is equal to about 4,000 times 1.76 to the x. This implies a growth rate of 76% annually, because 1.76 is being raised to the x power. Another way to look at this is if Tesla produces 100,000 cars in one year, then you could expect them to produce 176,000 cars the next. And this has held up on average over the last nine years. Of course, some years are slower and some years are faster, but 76% is extreme growth. Very few companies are able to manage a growth rate that high over any extended period of time. But does this previous growth rate predict Tesla's future? In 2020, Tesla is on track to produce about 500,000 cars, while the model is predicting 668,000. While I believe the 500,000 number is artificially lower because of the pandemic, analysts were modeling anywhere from 525 to 600,000 pre-COVID. 668 is too high. And following the trend line, they would cross 10 million vehicles produced in 2025, and by 2030, they would make 200 million vehicles. This is obviously inaccurate because the entire world produced 92 million automobiles in 2019. While Tesla's growth is incredible, it's not that incredible. So what is more likely? Elon has said that he would be surprised if Tesla did not grow at 40% annually over the next 10 years. The equation for that is pretty simple. You just multiply last year's production by 1.4 and continue that calculation for each year up to 2030. Well, right off the bat, the 2020 estimate seems to be spot on. This has Tesla's production doubling by the end of 2022, which is honestly probably conservative. Tesla has Shanghai Gigafactory Part 1 online, will have Part 2 online, Giga Berlin will likely be fully ramped, and the Tesla Terra factory will also be pumping out cars. Tesla's production could easily be three to four times 2020's production level. Of course, automotive sales are a lumpy business, and Tesla's annual growth rate tends to wax and wane over time. To keep the growth rate up, they would have to announce more factories every year for 10 years, which may be too aggressive. It may be more likely that Tesla's growth is hyper-exponential early on, and more linear later on, like we've seen with Fremont's plateauing production. This is also supported by the production ramp being an S-curve, meaning that once you reach a factory's capacity, growth turns from exponential to sigmoid, eventually leveling off and maximizing. Still, if Tesla produces 20 million vehicles in 2030, this would be 40 times their current level of production, and if global automotive sales stay flat at 90 million, Tesla would have a 22% market share. Holy sh!